Welcome back to your home garage and in this video I'm going to go over a winter checklist that you can easily conduct on your driveway. Since this is only a checklist I'll be covering off the categories fairly quickly. But in the description I will include videos that I've already created so you can take a deeper dive into each topic. So let's get started. Your battery and charging system. The chemical reactions required to generate power in your car battery slow down in extremely cold temperatures and your car requires more current from the battery to start the engine. To avoid a car that won't start on a cold morning, run a battery load test to see if your battery has enough juice. A fully charged battery in good condition is required to start an engine in cold weather. If you have a multimeter, you can test the charging system very easily or have the battery charging system tested by a trained technician. Battery cables and terminals. Make sure the battery terminals and cable ends are free from corrosion and the connections are tight. Your drive belts. Inspect the underside of drive belts for cracks or fraying. Many newer multi-rib serpentine belts are made of materials that do not show obvious signs of wear and tear. So just replace these belts at the recommended intervals. Engine hoses. Inspect cooling system hoses for leaks, cracks, or loose clamps. Also, squeeze the hoses and replace any that are brittle or have an excessively spongy feeling to them. Tire type and tread. In areas with heavy winter weather, installing snow tires on all four wheels will provide the best winter traction. All season tires work well in light to moderate snow conditions provided they have adequate tread depth. Tires with worn treads are a serious hazard in winter conditions. If you live in an area that experiences a lot of snowfall, consider getting snow tires, which are made of a softer rubber that remains flexible in colder temperatures, and have treads specially designed to keep their grip in snow and ice. If you are going to use all season tires, check to make sure the treads are at least 532nd for the best winter traction. If your tread is less than 232nd, your tires will offer virtually zero traction in snow and probably prone to hydroplaning in the rain and should be replaced regardless of the time of year. Tire pressure. Check tire inflation pressure on all four tires and your spare more frequently in the fall and winter. As the average temperature drops, so will tire pressures, typically about 1 PSI for every 10 degrees. Proper tire pressures can be found in the owner's manual or on the sticker typically located on the driver's door jam. Air filter. Check the engine air filter by holding it up to the sun or light source. If light can be seen through most of the filter, then it's still clean enough to work effectively. However, if light is blocked by most of the filter, then just go ahead and replace it. Coolant levels. Check the coolant level in the overflow tank when the engine is cold. If the level is low, add the proper coolant solution for your climate and car to maintain the necessary antifreeze capacity. Test the antifreeze protection level annually with a tester available at any auto parts store. Now let's look at your lights. Check the operation of all headlights, tail lights, brake lights, turn signals, emergency flashers, and the backup lights. Replace any burnt out bulbs. Wiper blades. The blades should completely clean the glass with each wipe. Replace any blades that leave streaks or miss a spots. Most blades are only good for six months to a year, so chances are going into the winter, you probably need to replace them. In regions where snow is common, consider installing wiper blades that wrap the blade in a rubber boot to reduce the ice and snow buildup that can prevent the good contact between the blade and the glass. Washer fluid. Winter driving is hard enough and reduced visibility just makes it even worse. Having enough wiper fluid is crucial to keeping your windshield free of ice, snow, salt, and mud. Fill the windshield washer fluid reservoir with a winter cleaning solution that has antifreeze components to prevent it from freezing. Your vehicle's brakes. If there's any indication of a braking problem, then inspect the system either yourself or by a certified technician to ensure that all components are in good working order going into the winter. Check all your major fluids such as oil, transmission, brake, and power steering fluid. So check all those fluids to ensure that they're within the safety levels. 
And even though they're all important, your engine needs lubrication to run, but cold weather thickens the oil and reduces its ability to circulate through the engine. So make sure you have fresh oil to keep things running smoothly. Some would recommend using a thinner oil during the winter months, but consult your owner's manual or mechanic to see if that approach is right for you. Lastly, an emergency road kit. And this kit should include the following. Know how to forward your coordinates on your phone, some drinking water, a first aid kit, snacks, a brace of materials, a shovel, blanket, clothing, flashlight with extra batteries, windshield washer fluid, a nice scraper, paper towel, jumper cables, warning devices, and some basic tools. And that's how easy it is to go over a winter checklist to prepare your vehicle. Now go have some fun and try tackling this list yourself. So make sure you help to keep this channel going by hitting that like button, sharing this video with a friend. Also, please comment below as I reply to all. Plus, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Your Home Garage. Mm -hmm.